What is going on, everybody? So, uh, welcome back to Boney Baits and uh, Fishing Breaks. I'm your host, Boney Boy. Um, today, we're kind of doing a very complex um, style bait. It's a um, it's a bloodline swim bait in the four inch size. So they're going to be a really small. Um, this is actually kind of a two parter mold, a two parter bait. And so first, you got to make a the actual bloodline if you want to make a bloodline and uh, then once we we do that we got to insert it into the actual swim bait mold and I'll show you how to do that uh, after the bloodlines have settled up and um, we're ready to make the actual swim bait itself so um, we're gonna try to mimic a, a golden shiner and this is um this is kind of what it looks like the only difference I'm gonna do is um, I'm not going to do the yellow eye, I'm going to do a red eye instead. So when it comes time to insert the eyes in the bud lines, I will um, show you how to do that once we get to that part. Okay? So first we're going to make the bloodline. And I was thinking of doing kind of a, a white bloodline that, uh, you know, it doesn't really have a majorly defined bloodline. But I want to put one in there anyway. So I'm just going to do standard issue white. Um, nothing too spectacular. So obviously this mold is really, really tiny. It doesn't take much plastic. So, you know, we don't need much plastic in the beaker because otherwise you just end up wasting it. And this makes 40 bloodlines. The swim bait mold itself only makes four swim baits at a time. So you can make... 10 runs of swim baits. And so we're going to put the plastic in the microwave. And since it's less plastic, we'll use less time. So um, I'll do, say, two minutes. And I'll meet you right back once the plastic is all set. So the plastic has come out of the microwave. Um, so we're just basically just gonna add some white. Um, there's no set amount you can add. White's a very thick color. So, um, you know, a couple drops. see how that looks <clears throat> yeah I might actually have to thicken that up a little bit There we go. That's better. So, like I said, this mold doesn't take much plastic. So it's going to be very, very quick. I will meet you back when those are all set up. They're very small, 
like really really small so it won't take very very long so let's give it some time all right the uh, bloodlines have settled up you can tell by the uh, the finger test but I want to show you something real quick so those of you who have been on my page bony baits and fishing breaks um, these three worms are on my um, cover page. This color is called Taters and Gravy. Uh, I wanted to show a video of how to make them, but a lot of things were happening and uh, I didn't get to do that. But I did show the picture. Um, this style of stick bait, or worm, is a, called a core shot. And as you can see, it's got like a a very clear translucent shell and in the center is a darker core so I figured this kind of resembled mashed potatoes and gravy the best so I don't know what do you guys think leave a comment below now let's open up these bloodlines Nice. Nice. So they, they kind of, they're like little sticks. You know, centipede stick type things. Um, so what you do is you place them in the bloodline slot. You can see the little stick slot in the mold. I, uh, I messed up earlier. I said that you can, that it does four but I forgot that it's two-sided, duh. So instead of doing 10 runs, you can do five because you have 40 bloodlines, but eight slots. So what you do is you just break them off and then they kind of They kind of go in like so. And as you're injecting the, um, the mold, the bloodlines and the eyes will stick to the hot plastic. So it, it's a very interesting mold. It's kind of cool. Um, but it's definitely one of the more complex ones that I have. And if anybody wants to buy bloodline swim baits off of my uh, site I charge more for them because of the uh, work it takes to make them so I'm gonna cut out right here so you guys don't have to watch me put eight bloodlines in in the swim baits and then when I come back I'll go over how to do the eyes All right, the uh, bloodlines are in their proper spots. Now comes one of the most fun parts of making the mold. I mean, the, making the bait. Choosing the eyes. So I do have these red eyes um, that I want to put on them. However, I was digging through my eye selection and I found these really cool orange and blue eyes um, however I'm gonna stick with the red ones I think they look better so maybe we'll save these orange and blue ones for another time you know um, I don't know I'll have to think of a funky color to use these with maybe you guys can uh, add a comment below on what I should do with these but I think they're really cool looking on this bait, I don't think they'd work. So we're just gonna stick with the red ones. 
Now, you're probably thinking, how do I get these things to stay in the mold when I stand it up? And how do they stick to the bait? Well, sticking to the bait is easy. Because the hot plastic will infuse to the back of the eye. And um, the eye will just stick that way. But to stick in the mold, you have to put an adhesive in the eye slot. And the best way to do that is to take a really old or terribly colored stick bait and use the tail um, to administer the adhesive. So what I do is I come over here. Um, this is the best brand I could think of to use. It works very well. Um, it's flammable, so be very careful with it. You give it a good shake. And then I spray a little bit on the tip of the, the stick bait. Okay. Now, this is all you need. This stuff goes a long way. So, in the eye slot, you just kind of dab it a little bit. Dab a little bit. Keep dabbing. Very little bit. throw that in the sink for now and the eyes just peel right off and then because they're so finicky and tiny you have to kind of use a toothpick to put them in place so they kind of look like that but when you take the bait out, you're going to see the eye um, on the bait. So, I'm going to cut again here. So you guys don't have to watch me place seven more eyes. So, um, when we come back, we'll actually make the bait. Okay, so all the eyes are now placed in the mold. There's one more step we have to do before we close it up and actually make our colors. And that is to insert the hook slot plates. And these are easy. You just place them right in the assigned uh, slot. And once you do that, you can very carefully um, close up the mold okay oops making a mess making a mess uh, 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 uh. making a mess da -na, na, 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 na. don't laugh at me Okay, we are ready. Finally, after doing all of that, we can make our colors. Like I said, we are making a golden shiner swim bait. And it's going to be a laminate, which means the single injector goes away. Bye bye. We're going to pull out the dual injector. So I got to do a little bit of a So with a laminate, uh, we have this thing called a blending block. And for some reason, people who 
want to do laminates, people who are interested in laminates, like to see the way this looks. So, just open it up. Pretty cool. So, when you're injecting the laminate, one color comes in from the right, one color comes in from the left, and then they meet in the middle. Now, they go in together. That's why you heat them up together. And when they settle up in the mold, they infuse together. So, this is a very, very, very complex bait because of this reason. You know, you got the bloodlines, you got the eyes, you got the hook slots, you got the blending block, you got the, the two different colors. It's, it's complex, but it's very, very rewarding because I've caught a lot of fish uh, using these types of swim baits. Um, if you're using them in the right conditions, the right time of the year, um, you'll go through bags upon bags of these things because bass will just annihilate the crap out of them. So we're going to make a whole bunch of swim baits now. Okay, so our plastic has come out of the microwave. Um, I had to cook it for like six minutes because it's two plastics. Um, so let's make our color. Now, one thing I want to mention about these swim baits when you're injecting the mold, you want to make sure that, you know, you, you have a, a back color and a body color, which means you want your mold to face in a way where you're going to have a, your back color overlaying your body color. So in this particular mold, the baits are facing that way, meaning that the bellies are facing that way and the backs are facing that way. So when you're injecting on the, on the blending block, it has to be parallel to the mold. You follow? So when you're setting up your, your colors, you gotta make sure that when you're in, you're sucking up your plastic in the injector, that the colors also have to be set up in a way that you know you're injecting the um, back color on top of the belly color as well. I know, a lot to think about. So the back color is going to be not green pumpkin, not watermelon, forest green. So we're gonna do some drops of forest green. color is not coming out very well. Here we go. Let's see how that is. Sorry about the uh, the heater news noise. Um, there's nothing I can do about that. I don't know how to edit sound out yet. So we'll just have to deal with that for now. Ooh, that's a nice, nice, nice green. That actually might be too light. We're going to darken that up. Hold on. Best way to darken up any color is to add black. Um, like I said in previous videos, black goes a long way, so you only need a couple drops. Okay. 
Oh yeah, that's much better. Sweet! I like that much, much better. All right, move that out of the way. And because we're making golden shiner, uh, we're gonna add a tiny bit of gold pearl. And when I mean a tiny bit, I mean a tiny, tiny bit to this back color. I mean like, like that much. Pearl goes a long way. Oh, yeah. That's kind of cool looking, actually. I like that. All right. So there's our, our back color. Now it's time to make the belly color. And the best belly color to use whenever making any type of fish bait is white pearl. And in my opinion, you can use a ton of white pearl. So we're gonna add that much white pearl. And that, that's a, uh, a pinch. So we'll add a pinch of white pearl. And then because it is golden shiner, and this is kind of, this is kind of a thick color. So um, just a smaller amount, but a lot amount. So we're gonna do that. Now, usually with any bait, um, I like to add a little bit of texture. So we're just gonna add some really tiny uh, black flake as well. Um, just a, maybe like a half a smidgen black flake I'm gonna mix that up oh oh look how beautiful that looks oh yeah Pretty, 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 pretty. And because yours truly likes to stink up his baits, we are going to add a random fish smell. So we are going to add, oh, Shad's the first one I saw, so we're adding Shad. I kind of like the smell of shad, actually. It stinks. Kind of like a... I don't know. It kind of smells like licorice to me. Like, not not the red kind, not the black kind. Black licorice. The one that, that nobody likes to eat because it's just nasty tasting. Although I like black licorice. Black licorice. Black licorice kind of tastes pretty good, in my opinion. Okay. Now these plastics are starting to uh, settle up because we took kind of a while to uh, make them. So we'll just heat them in the microwave for like 30 seconds. Oh yeah, that smells pretty good. Pretty, pretty good. Pretty good. Okay, so they've been reheated just a little bit. Get them nice and hot. Um, I'm kind of nervous as to how this one's gonna come up because pearls, when they go through the um, blending block, they're just, a, a little bit different 
I don't know why, but we'll see. Messy. Ah, the sound of plastic coming out of an injector. All right, let's see how these will come out. I don't like the way they look, judging by the sprues. This could be a total failure, but you never know. <laughs> Smells great, though. All right, they should be uh, set up by now. So. Fingers crossed, they came out good. Um, otherwise, if they didn't, then we did all of that work and it'll look crummy. So, fingers crossed. Do 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 all these pieces of plastic. Dun, 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 dun. Ooh, oh, oh. Oh, 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 they actually look way better than what I was expecting. Holy moly. Wow. Wow. Look at that. Me. Hey. I'm lost for words. I, I don't even know what to say. Look at how well. Look at how well the back color laid above the body slash belly color. That's incredible. And the eyes, the red eye, the red eyes, I think, were a good option. Yeah, that that's look at that. That's pure beauty right there. Pure, pure beauty. So, like I said, um, we have this hook slot plate that kind of runs in the belly of the, of the bait. And you pull that out, pull the bait off of it. Now you're left with just the bait. But when you're rigging them on a hook, you have this nice belly slot. To bury the hook into and that allows you to get the, the pointy part of the hook up onto the back and then you can kind of place the, the sharp part of the hook into the back and, and bury it so that be, it becomes weedless and um, when you when you have a fish bite and you set the hook they're gonna bite down on the head part and then that point of the hooks gonna come out and when you set the hook, it's just going to stick them. Um, nine out of ten times, you're going to get 
uh, the hook right in the top of their mouths. So, I mean, that that's that's gorgeous. So, if you want to see um, any more really awesome swim bait colors, or if you have any suggestions, um, drop a comment in the comment section below. Um, make sure you you like, subscribe, comment, don't comment, dislike, do whatever the heck you want. Um, the subscribe button is the um, obviously subscribe button, and I, th I think the notification is the um, the bell. So if you want to get notifications um, about future videos or things that I'm doing, um, you know, hit the bell. Uh, so yeah. This is how you make 4-inch swim baits. I'm still amazed as to how good this color came out. Holy, holy moly. So, that's it for, for making swim baits. And uh, if you want to see future ones, you know, let me know. If you want to buy any, um, email me on the Bony Baits uh, email address, and I'll, I'll make you some. But like I said, the swim baits are uh, a little bit more because they're very complex and they're labor intensive. So instead of charging five dollars a bag, I'll charge um eight dollars a bag. So. Give it a shot. His tail. Oh, I gotta end the video because I'm just gonna keep talking about these things. Thank you all for listening and uh, catch fish. Keep going.